innings closed, nothing but a miracle could save the MCC. There was no miracle. Princess Elizabeth's visit to Coventry included an inspection of industrial exhibits at the Memorial Park, where she saw something of the city's fine contribution to exports. Her Royal Highness also went to the cathedral. Although a total ruin, it looks very different from the ruin of nearly eight years ago. It is well, perhaps, to recall the result of Coventry's terrible blitz when, in one night, so much of the city was burnt and blasted and so many lives lost. These old pictures help to underline the tremendous effort at reconstruction now being undertaken. The rebuilding of the centre of Coventry is being planned on modern lines and the inauguration of the work was one of the main objects of the princess's visit. By cutting a ribbon, she officially opened Broadgate, the new central square, before speaking to the people of Coventry. If we can summon to our aid in peace those high qualities with which we met the evil challenge of war, if the spirit which the citizens of Coventry showed on the night of November the 14th, 1940, can be reborn in the hearts of our people today, then we shall indeed see the fruits of peace. However formidable the task before us, it has never been the custom of our people to admit discouragement. Believed to be the first